Sup, y'all, bring you guys another video. Just bring you guys a uh, quick post fight thoughts video of the Keyshawn Davis versus Esteban Sanchez fight. They fought over the weekend over in Vegas in the undercard of the Oscar Valdez versus Shakur Stevenson fight. To those who don't know, over the weekend I was over at the Garden watching the Taylor versus Serrano fight, so I missed out on the undercard of uh, Stevenson versus um, Valdez and uh, just catching up with my boxing to those who don't know if you have uh, ESPN plus you can watch the whole undercard of the Stevenson versus Valdez fight on ESPN plus and that's what I did uh, ended up watching all the fights and uh, this fight between Davis and Esteban Sanchez lasted six rounds with uh, Kishan Davis winning the fight by TKO in round number six and it was all all Kishan Davis all Kishan Davis round after round total domination outworked out punch Esteban Sanchez. Sanchez was getting hit with clean punch after clean punch. Props to him for not, you know, getting completely knocked out and completely hurt. But he was getting hit with lots of clean punches, man. And Davis showed the, the difference in skill level between the two. Davis, man, I've always said Davis, just watching him fight, you can tell that he's already a future world champion, man. I mean, he's he wants a fast track. He wants to get in there uh, and fight for a world title as soon as possible. And... Um, if he keeps this up, he will. He will. Uh, right now, as a pro, 5-0. Four wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. This was his fifth pro fight. I'm sure he'll fight a few more times this year. Uh, he fought. He, this was his first scheduled eight-rounder. Um, I think one more eight-rounder, one or two more eight-rounders. Then I think uh, he'll be ready for a ten-rounder uh, by the time he's 8-0. And, uh, you know, depending on who he fights in the next few fights, um, will go from there but definitely davis is is a future world champion in my opinion and uh if you are a fan of the sport start paying attention now and start following Keyshawn davis now i mean i think top rank is actually doing a good job showcasing his fights early on um actually they, they, they're, they're they're doing that lately showcasing a lot of the young young names on big cards on espn um I think that's a pretty good strategy by top rank, actually. And, you know, they're trying to hype up Davis, which is a good thing. And, uh, you know, like I said, start paying attention now. He gave he gave uh, Sanchez a beating. Sanchez was a, a much more experienced professional boxer going into this fight who had 18 wins and one loss going into this fight. Now he's offered his second loss. He's 23 years old. He's still young. I'm sure this is not the end of uh, Sanchez. I'm sure we'll see him again. But, man, he took a beating in this fight. And, uh, you know, props for him for having a good chin, but... You need more than a good chance to win fights. And uh, Keyshawn Davis is the real deal. So, anyway. Dominant win from Davis. Looking forward to the next one. I'll keep you guys updated on his career. Um, you know, when I think about it, man, for the past 10 years of making YouTube videos, it's insane how over the past 10 years, I've pretty much watched one career already of one boxer. Some boxers started off when I started making YouTube videos and they have retired already. It's insane insane but anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always have a great day all right thanks